Alright, here we go. I'm gonna go to... Uh, now I'm gonna go to James and Earl. Alright. Here? Hold on. Hey. <laughs> yes, now we're here. I just... <laughs> okay. I didn't, I didn't just say that. <laughs> good, thing, good thing we just... Uh, now we're back. Okay. Uh, so the first mistake I made me. was like all the all the um, title stuff. I forgot to update it, so. Oh no. Just so you know, okay. James, um, because yeah. we were talking like we were pros at this, we still make so many mistakes. <laughs> technical, we are, well, we are the kings of technical error. <laughs> but we, I, I feel like I got everything else right, except for that thing. So anyway, hi James, welcome to Dandy Saga. Hello. Hi. What's going on, guys? What's James, on? everybody. Um, how you doing? How you doing? How do I say your? How do we say your last name? I don't want to get it wrong. So, um, my my last name is just pronounced Liao. Liao. Okay. Liao. Liao. I mean, that's how Liao. we're doing it anyway in my family. And you have a middle name, Hiroyuki, which I can which I, which I can pronounce. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm half. I'm uh my fa my father, uh, uh is Taiwanese and my mother is Japanese, so that's why. Mm -hmm. That's wow. why, yeah. yeah, they gave me a, but I was born, uh, born in Brooklyn. And so uh, my mom decided that uh, since uh, she wanted our first names, all the kids in our family, our first names to be American names. And then mm -hmm. we would have a Chinese name, of course, because my father's last name. And she said, so I want them to have something from me. And so all the kids got uh, Japanese middle names. Wow. That's really beautiful. Yeah, that is beautiful. Has that, yeah. um, what was that like growing up, like identity wise? Because, you know, for me, it was just like Japanese and American. That was my struggle. Did you have right. like a three, like a trifecta? Or was that no, not an I issue? mean, okay, so, you know, ironically today, the neighborhood that I was born and raised in is a new Brooklyn Chinatown. Oh, so oh, wow. for kids, for kids growing up today in that same exact neighborhood on the very block that I was born and raised on, uh, it's a completely different experience. When I was a child, when I was a baby, you know, all the way up until in my teen years, um, uh, the neighborhood was all, it, it was the most Italian neighborhood in the most Italian city in America, right? And so, of course. Um, um, it was, uh, the, the, the people who settled in my neighborhood were all, um, from Sicily and Southern Italy, uh, the, the, they're, you know, Southern Italian and Sicilian immigrants and then their kids and grandkids and all that stuff and everything. So I was mostly surrounded by Italian people growing up. Wow. And that's everything. amazing. So it was, it was a very, very, very different experience. And then inside the home, since my father, my father was old enough to be my grandfather. Oh. Uh, so he, he grew up, uh, during the war. So my father uh, is fluent in Japanese. He is Japanese since he was uh, taught Japanese. All of his schooling was in Japanese. His Japanese is actually better than his native language, which is Mandarin Chinese, right? Wow. Um, so, so that's why the only other language that we spoke other than English inside the house, obviously, was Japanese. So in a very strange way, I still think in all of Bensoners, I don't know, I don't, I don't think I think my mom is the only Japanese person that ever lived in that neighborhood. And so there wasn't, there, there wow. literally weren't many Asian people at all. Yeah. It was starting to transition because um, when Tiananmen Square thing happened in China overnight, there was a, it, it seemed like it was overnight anyway. Uh, it wasn't very gradual. There was an explosion of uh, Chinese immigrants into neighborhoods like mine. Um, uh -huh. at that time and everything so so but before that I would say it was a very 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 small uh, you know Asian population certainly no no Japanese but not even Chinese or Korean or, or, or Southeast Asian or or or, or 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 Central Asian or anything. Yeah, any of any yeah, anyone any, any that wasn't any, Italian any. Sicilian yeah. <laughs> you know yeah and then like you know I but but I also grew up, uh, in, uh, you know, a stone's throw from a very, very, very heavily Jewish neighborhood. So mm -hmm. a lot of my upbringing growing up was going to Jewish and Italian bakeries. And, you know, oh. and that that part I know that was life. probably the best. <laughs> that part of it was probably the best. So that's why, you know, I've been cooking Italian food for half my life because, <laughs> you know, you become 
you know, it's impossible to not be uh, influenced, you know, uh, by your neighborhood and stuff. So. Absolutely. But it was also very, very tough. It was very, very tough because I also grew up in the age of, you know, you know, were there actual wise guys? Probably, but you know, most <laughs> of the kids in my neighborhood just wanted to act like a wise guy and stuff. And that of was course. not, that was mostly not a good thing. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just for the chat, I forgot to mention this earlier. So uh, if you have questions for our guests, James, uh, I made it into a channel point thing and it's pretty cheap. So uh, just ask us on there. There's a limit. So I limited it to three. Yeah, though I'm sure you're not going to ask that many, but uh, just let us know <laughs> there. Some of, some of you might. We know some yes. of you might. <laughs> yes. And we might. And just so, that we, so you know that we might not get to everything and we uh, Especially if we, you know, we're talking and we might answer your question in the natural conversation. So it might get answered. So just answered. stick around, hang out, listen, stick around. be, be, be amongst it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to, I wanted to, so we had this idea to uh, drink sake, but only to learn. So I got one, <laughs> but only to learn that James, you don't drink. No, I don't. You don't Not do anything total. bad. It's just like a health thing or I mean caffeine. Do you do caffeine? Do you do coffee? Okay, so uh, you know, <laughs> hey, whatever, you know. I'm I'm a, I'm a very transparent guy, you know. Yes. Uh, and so without getting into like super details and everything cuz you know, this is a it's a happy thing. Um uh the, Let's just put it this way: the the home that I grew up in. It's ironic, right? I, I played the drunken yeah. Japanese sake merchant. Although he was the one making sake, so maybe you know, but maybe he was drinking was, most of his product too. Maybe it was all an act. You never know. Right, no, you no, never know. Right, but no, but uh, anyway, but, quickly, uh, come by. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, the, the 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 home that I grew up in uh, had some issues. So very early on in life, uh, probably the best decision I ever made in my life as a child was. Uh, I, I promised myself that I was not going to do certain things. Uh, mm. There were things that I saw that I said, because I, because I saw that and experienced it, I said, forget it. I'm never doing these things. And wow. so, so, so one of them was drinking. The other thing was, uh, so I've, I've never, i never smoked. I never drank. I've never done those things. And, uh, and then, you know, and, and there's a whole lot of yeah. stuff too, but that's getting too deep. But but I told myself, hey, you know, I'm not going to do it because I didn't like I didn't like uh, I didn't like the results of those of course. things. Yeah, uh, from, yeah. From other people, so so I kind of stayed away from it, and you know, you know, you don't miss what you don't know, right? So yeah, yeah, so, absolutely. You know, that's but I amazing. I don't judge nobody. I don't judge anybody. I'm just oh, talking specifically about, you know, my my uh, upbringing, my experience. Yeah. Yeah. Chin chin. <laughs> By the way, just quickly, I was gonna get like something fancier, but then I thought, oh, it's you know, it's Kenji, uh, so I thought I'll get the cheapest one available that they had, and it's the like, one cup Ogateki. He he would want value. I think I feel like Ken Kenji would be be about value. Yeah, <laughs> this is probably better than Kenji's. This is actually pretty good. Um, <laughs> Dang! <it's>, yikes! <laughs> uh, you know, from what we hear. Uh, cheers, everybody, and come by. Um, so um, that's that's like very disciplined. I'm a bit surprised, actually, of how um, I don't know what the, I guess disciplined is the, the word. Um, what is it like? I mean, it's all acting, I suppose. Does it, playing Kenji like something like that? Does it come natural to you? I, well, see. Uh... So like now we're gonna sound like a bunch of actors. Yeah, I know. Right? That's what this is. That's, 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 that's why we're here. That's why we want to so, do this. <laughs> so you know, all right. So a lot of times, you know, a lot of people look at like a uh, characteristic of a guy. For example, right? One of my biggest pet peeves is like when people say, "Oh, this is a New York person," and all of a sudden there's just this stereotypical thing about, and that's what a person is. And mm. so for me. What it boils down to for most people, even if I know I'm comic relief, even if I know if, you know, I'm, a, I'm the butt of a joke or something like that, there's still people, right? So, so what I can always sort of kind of tap into or get into or get excited about is who these people are and not so much um, what, that, uh, what that, 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 that identifiable 
uh, one thing that people see somebody as. Yeah, somebody may seem like a clown to you on the street, but you don't know their backstory, right? You don't know everything yeah. that they went through, right? You don't know what their politics are. You don't know what their social values are. You don't know anything about them, right? You just yeah. know that, oh, he Absolutely. looks and sounds like this, and that's it. And I think in that regard, I think Kenji is who he is, absolutely, you know, but man, the stuff that he's seen. And can I get behind the idea that, you know, he's trying to just struggle and survive in this world where basically he has no you know, rights and it's like, yeah, I can get down with that. Yeah. Can I get down with also that, uh, you know, um, he, he uses his own product to, to self-medicate and, and everything. And, and uses humor as his as his escapism, as his uh, defense mechanism, as something that keeps him safe and non-threatening. Absolutely, I can get down with that. You know, mm, yeah. Um, I've I've definitely done that in my life and a, a a couple of times in really scary situations where I was like, you know what? If 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 I just come off like my everyday self, I might be in trouble. So I'm gonna nerd it out over here. <laughs> and I'm gonna, go, I'm, I'm gonna go to humor and i'm gonna let a stereotype protect me wow. because you know yeah. if, I'm, if i'm not threatening then no one's gonna want to stab me in the neck yeah if i say for no, sure but if i say you know excuse me what did you say pal <laughs> right which yeah. might be a natural instinct in me sometimes but you know i've gotten older and so <laughs> i don't do that anymore sometimes either. wiser yeah you know, wow. so, so, you know, and I think he's in that way, Kenji uh, is a survivor. And so he's, you know, on, on, on a very, you know, kind of on a more serious note, Kenji uh, knows how to navigate and survive or has found his way to navigate and survive, you know, this uh, horrific condition that these people are under. Right. Absolutely. Damn. Yeah. Dang. That was so that was so that was so oh, deep <laughs> beautiful thank you james thanks for sharing that with us uh, i feel yeah thank you i so feel much. really lucky <laughs> um, this so one, like yeah. oh and but then the other thing is though uh dice i'm sorry i'm getting long-winded here no uh, is no. it too hard to play uh, you know so sadly um so again this goes back to the reason why you know <laughs> you know i i i'm you know i don't drink and do all that stuff uh you know, I and I don't even drink coffee for the same exact reasons because the yeah the person who is who I uh, least admire and wanted to not be like everything he did I chose not to do in life. And wow. <laughs> a part of that is also I think that I think anyway that's yeah. why I don't drink coffee either. I mean I barely drink even soda. But the other and 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 so connected to all that I don't think it's that hard for me to. All right, so I don't know what it actually is is to be physically intoxicated, right? But I've been surrounded by it so much. Uh, it is affected. It, it has affected my life on on from the moment I was born on a deeply you know, profound level that it's not uh, 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 foreign to me at all. Hmm. Um, you know, I was you know, you know without getting into really personal stuff, but. It has been around my life and it has affected my life uh, very, very much. So it's not something that is is strange or foreign or odd uh, to me. And uh, I've 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 lost people uh, 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 to addiction, uh, and so you know, yeah, man, I've been around it a lot. I've yeah. seen it a lot, and so not 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 hard for me. Now that sounds like so so. No, it wasn't. I didn't think it was hard for me to 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 play uh it was so much fun to play kenji so much fun to play kenji yeah that's it, awesome yeah it was uh it was so fun to be in the booth with you uh because sometimes <laughs> you would just go off and uh, you know ad lib a little bit and like it, it, yeah it was they recorded a lot of stuff that they had to cut <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah there's yeah. a lot of stuff that you guys don't see um if, are you yeah. watching the you may want to mute this conversation and maybe watch the twitch real quick um oh we're gonna play a scene yeah let, why don't i think this is a good transition to do it yeah i need to let's beat, uh watch I, I need to kill somebody wait so guys what does that mean what is what is that so so we're gonna watch 
no, you just you just keep watching. Dice is gonna okay. start playing yeah. the as, game, I believe. As long as you have the Twitch on, do you see the video game? Yeah, I see the no. Twitch oh, on. Okay, great. I see that there's a little bit of a delay though. The yeah, audience. yeah, there's a, the there's game. a tiny bit of it's delay. Yeah, delay. now I see the delay. So All here's right. the game. Look at how gorgeous this game is. I, know, right? I, I don't want to be like, <laughs> I know it's like, oh yeah, look at that thing that we did. <laughs> like, but damn, look at how good they look. This is a. I can't believe it. We are saved. I can believe. you can you look at? I don't know. Okay. Take this Video games have come so far. far. Give Kenji the good news. Kenji, why would I give him anything but a punch in the mouth? What do you mean? He's the idiot who got us into this mess. He tried to cut a deal with the Mongols. Oh, Lord Sakai. Entrance. That was amazing. Kenji, you suck his swilling piece of monkey dung. <laughs> oh, yeah, there he comes. Explain yourself. I might have sold the Mongols food, but given them straw and wood chips instead. To make a profit? To save the farmer's food. You didn't think the Mongols would notice? <laughs> Not so quickly. All of a sudden, it was punishment, hostages. Give us food or we kill you. I was wrong to encourage you to make yourself useful. What? No, no. No, you weren't wrong, Lord Takai. I can do good. Oh, man. I just need practice. Try not to practice when people's lives are at stake. <laughs> yeah. Yes, my lord. I do like that moment. <laughs> um, and uh, his, Kenji's friend is gonna say something real quick. That's another reason why I chose this scene. Oh, you're damn lucky that samurai spared you, Kenji. I'm sorry, Taro. Kenji's friend has a word. Has a word to to a right to, to put in edgewise. I don't want to talk about this right now. So choke on a rice Goodbye, ball. Taro. Set yourself on fire with a Mongol bomb. There it is. <laughs> there we go. There and set go. yourself on fire with a Mongol oh. bomb. <laughs> Classic lines. Classic. Um. Oh man. Uh. That moment where he's like, "I can do. I can do good. I just need practice." This <laughs> is so. Yes. Clap, clap, yeah. Clap. It's. Uh. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Um, how's, how's okay. it been like for you? Uh, I mean, obviously we, we went through a pandemic and that's awful. Um, yeah. but, um, uh, what was it like for you when the game came out? You know, uh, so, so I'm going to make a, an admission here. You know, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a huge, uh, 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 gaming guy, uh, either and stuff, but, um, you know, so, but obviously I was hearing about how the game was being received. Yeah. And then, of course, when, you know, we got the game, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God, <laughs> you know, uh, and my nephews, though, holy smokes, my nephews, uh, they know things about things before it seems like uh, the industry people know. <laughs> I, I don't know how they know things, but they, they're, they're connected. <laughs> They're connected. Yeah, are they on the? Are, are they in chat right now? Are they? <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't. I don't. And they, you know, my my nephew was going off about Ghost. I was like, dude, how do you know these things? It's like he was going off and off and off. And the craziest thing was because, you know, I hadn't spoken to him in a while, and I was like, yeah, we've been working on this thing for so long and so intermittently. It's just been part of our lives, right, Dice? Like, I think yeah. we, I, I got. Right, I got cast in like 2015. Right, mm -hmm. it's something <laughs> real far back. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 26, so, 2017, so, 2016. Yeah. And and sometimes, at least you know, for me, right, Earl, right, like sometimes I know for 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 Dice, it's like, you know, probably every other week at least. But for some of uh, the other characters, sometimes you know we'll go like what half a year without doing anything. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's eight months. So I... it's not it's not in the foreground of your mind. So it never came up and I never spoke about it with my nephews. So yeah. then my nephew goes, Uncle James, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's like, and I don't even sound like me, right? And obviously I don't sound like, you know, me, the everyday me or whatever. Yeah, or of course. Like that. But it's like again, these kids, they just, you know, freak, they go, wait, James Leo or something like that. Or, you know, <laughs> yeah. Blah, I mean, you know. 
and all that stuff. And so, yeah, my my nephews went buck wild. Buck Amazing. Wild. Amazing. They were like, I can't believe my, oh my God, that's my Uncle James. Yeah, that but was, yeah, I had, that was I, really I, cool. total really like cool. cards on the table moment convention talking about the like moments in between sessions. I had a moment where I, this was like back years and years ago, but in between when there is a huge lull, I, I wrote my agent and I was like, hey, did they, are we done? I thought I was still, are we done? And they're like, no, yeah. they're, yeah. They they're taking more time. I was like, did I get recast or something? And they're like, no, don't worry about it. They're just taking their time. <laughs> that's the fear. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. The, that's the fear. <laughs> like I, you know, I'm working on some things where it's like, yeah, when there's like a long break, I, they could recast you with somebody else. Yeah. It's like, nope. Sorry, we're just uh, we, we pick someone else. <laughs> you just never know. Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, you know, especially nice. in voiceover world, right, guys? In voiceover, like I, I've done so few, so little of this. Like this is literally my second video game, and then I, I did, you know, and then uh, in my entire career, I've done uh, this is uh, uh, two of these video games, and then what was your one first one? One animated show. Yeah, I don't even know if I can say that it was my first one, right? Because because hmm. I got replaced on that. So oh. this is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got replaced on that. Never found out about it until the game came out. Oh, wow. so yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. And then, and then, uh, and then I got this uh, animated show that I'm not allowed to talk about, right? Uh -huh. But, uh -huh. but uh -huh. it's weird because did I get it or didn't I get it? Because same thing, three or four <laughs> sessions into it, and I got replaced from that. So I mean, the the only things I've ever gotten replaced for is on 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 voiceover. That's so wild. Game. And I've only had three, and I've gotten replaced on two of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, man, we love we love yeah. Kenji, and we love you as Kenji. And I don't think I my brain really doesn't work with that. Like I don't know now that, especially now that I know you, it's sort of that thing of like, I don't know. I don't think anyone else could do this role the way that this role is, in the way that I don't know. Like it, yeah, yeah. So no, uh, no, thanks, man. Yeah. No, that's too sweet. No, of course, though you're wrong, though Earl. Of course, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I, you know, I, I just, I just in general, I believe this about in acting in general. Aside from maybe one or two parts in the history and the entire canon of all things film, TV, and theater, um, you know, uh, of course, you know, you, you know, people get remembered for certain things and and, and whatever. But I, I. I I, 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 you know, there's so much talent out there. There's so many great people that, um, you know, I don't think there's much out there that we can say that only this person could have done it well or, or whatever. But I appreciate it, man. Um, um, I really, really do. Yeah, it was, I, I had a blast on it. You know what's funny too, and this, this might be something, I don't know if you guys have touched on in, in these previous sessions, but, you know, the way Kenji started out was extremely different from what it ended up being. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, in absolutely. Yeah. I, I've <laughs> talked about it quite a bit because the way Norio started out was yeah. very different from yeah. who yeah. who Norio ended up becoming, um, which I think very different. <laughs> yeah, who like, I'm I'm so grateful for. <laughs> what 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 I got cast as in my audition uh -huh. is so is almost a 180 flip from what I did that that when we ended up when we first went to this um, final like uh, version of how we were going to do it right I was a little bit uh, in the beginning I was almost a little lost like holy crap I feel like I'm I'm doing nothing I feel like I ain't doing like this is so weird because in the very very beginning well, um, you know, they were like totally full on, go full out, uh, thick ass accent. The slapstick comedy was was over the top. I improv mm. like crazy in my audition. 99% mm. of my audition, I would say, was improv and not scripted at all. Wow. Almost kind of amazing, like, kind amazing. Of, kind of like scripted around an idea of the scene. And you know, my Japanese isn't great, but my pronunciation is still pretty good. So the things that I do know, I still know. And and Miko, my 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 donkey was a much much larger part of the story, and I had all these I, I, I had all these comedic had side the gigs. I had all these comedic side gigs with Miko Chan, mm. right? And I would say Miko Chan, you know, and I would, uh, you know, and all this stuff, <laughs> and 
And there was even a really, 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 really heartwarming. I remember one of the very first days because we were doing motion capture in the very, very beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, then we, and then, and then, and then, and then stopped doing that. But, but in the very first motion capture uh, session, I had a scene with just my donkey. And it was lit. <laughs> It, it, if you didn't know it was a donkey, right? If you didn't know it was donkey, because after her, you know, her name is Miko, right? Like, um, you know. <laughs> it's a really awkward it scene. Was, <laughs> no, no, no. But it was like a, a father with like his, you know, child kind mm -hmm. of a thing, how much he adores and loves. Yeah. That, and it's like funny and kind of sad at the same time. <laughs> but there was all these gags and, and and my guy was so much more deliberately slapsticky mm -hmm. comedy, mm -hmm. you know, ding, you know, yeah. and everything. And then, and a lot of that went away. A lot yeah. of that went away. Yeah. And, then, and then they said less and less accent, no Japanese words, nothing, nothing, nothing. And then, and then, and then, and then I, I remember the next time around, there was another mocap session and I did do less of an accent and everything. And then that all got scratched. Those entire scenes got scratched again. And then it became uh, this thing. And so, you know, when we, when we first got to this iteration of it, I, I was a little bit like, man, I feel like I ain't doing nothing no more. Right. Mm. But in reality, when you, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, when you're doing this, especially in a, in a voiceover too, you don't get the benefit of like, of the whole thing, right? Yeah. So yeah. when I finally saw how, ah, no, 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 this makes sense because you want it to be grounded in, in some kind of reality. You can't have, mm -hmm. you know, you know, I mean, you can't have a, 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 a real serious period drama and then throw in Seinfeld and, and, and <laughs> you know, in, in the middle of it and, and, and everything. So. So it, I think it worked out great and everything, but it took it took time to get there, right, Dice? Because it was, yeah. I mean, literally, I I did three different versions of of Kenji, for really? sure, at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, same here, but with like subtle things, and with me, like they kept it. And for you, but with different context. Yeah, <laughs> in, in my I feel like with Dice for you, the whole it was probably a much more graduate gradual shaping because you were also just working on the, the process so much more in in closeness with it. Yeah, yeah, so for yeah. you, it's sort of like, oh yeah, you're just evolving with us, the, the character growing. But yeah, with sort of along the lines of James being like, oh yeah, we have this. Oh, next next session months later like oh yeah all that stuff that we did great loved it gone we're <laughs> changing all of it that that back all of that backstory all those people mm, don't exist <laughs> it's like okay great <laughs> moving on <laughs> hold on i'm just great. gonna turn on the light here too. yeah yeah of course I mean, we essentially just got paid for yeah. re not <laughs> rehearsal but you know for <laughs> A session, like a practice yeah. session. Yeah, exactly. It's sort of like, yeah. oh, is this, a, is this, do we like this? Okay, yeah, all right. Tweaking, tweaking. You know, and I, I'm, I'm so grateful because in some ways I think that the characters, at least with Norio, like for me, I feel like started to get a little more closer to sort of who you know, I was, I am, you know, like, I feel like the, 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 the character sort of, uh, I was able to make more influ or, I don't know, like talk to Patrick and things and, and be like, Hey, question slash, like, let's talk about what's happening to this character that you, that you're giving me like a brand new one every few months. <laughs> like, can we, <laughs> what's going on, <laughs> you know, which I think is just, was just a really great experience in general. Um, Hey guys, yeah. I, yeah. I see uh, something in the stream chat yeah, that yeah. I'd actually like to say something about. Sure. Um, uh, someone it. said that there might also be a case where American humor doesn't mesh with Japanese humor and the Japanese consultant said, hmm, right? And everything. Mm. Um, now, I, I can't, I, I mean, I can only speak to uh, what, what was told to me um, once. So that's what I'm going off of. This was, you know, but somebody did say, uh, tell me that when we were working on some of this stuff that, um, 
in the first iteration of it, right, where it was there was actually actually some of it uh, where where we we used a lot of Japanese phrases or or weren't afraid to throw that in mm. and used thicker accents and all that stuff.、Um, Um, some in the Japanese,、uh, the Japanese people, they actually thought it was kind of authentic and 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 dug it.、Um, but in in Seattle, there was definitely when when they kind of uh, uh, screened the game and played the game, it was it was a lot of people on the American side、uh, that that were like. No, this is this is offensive because, or it runs the risk of being offensive and everything.、Mm. Um, so it's funny, it which isn't to say right because nobody's monolithic and no, you know, not one person's opinion or you know, of course, of course, people represent everybody, right? So obviously in Japan, you know,、uh, I wouldn't be shocked if people would be like, oh no 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 no, and since it's an American game, still、um, um, in English. Then、uh, for the for for the English speaking audience at least and everything it's it's kind of like same thing for like when you do check off right you don't do Russian accents right you just you know you know、um, yes and, and everything um you know、yes. there's a lot of thank you there's a lot of there's a lot of <laughs> lot of lot of you know uh, um, area in this for for different opinions and stuff but. At least, as far as something that I actually heard from somebody in the game was that the initial reaction、uh, from the Japanese、uh, wasn't that uh, uh, negative and everything, and and it was、yeah. more about being it was more about being careful and then but then also solidifying I think and being in, in one concrete world、uh, that everybody could buy, you know, whether it's.、Mm-hmm. Uh, Comedic moments,、uh, dr- dramatic elements, the 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 kendo martial arts aspect of it, and you know, trying to be authentic in a case, still be an action video game, still being this, and then everybody rooted in the same world. They decided, nah, man, then this is the best way to go, and I think they were right about that for sure. But at, at, at least from what I was told, that the initial reaction by the Japanese was actually quite positive. Yeah. So. so. I mean, I gotta be honest and say that I'm probably the person who fought for the opposite. For, who, yeah, yeah, I'm one of the people who probably started the conversation about that because about be, yeah because about the, the accent, accent about stuff, about using certain Japanese phrases and、uh, accents because for me it was it was about the the world because I, we knew that we there was gonna be a translation anyway. So it, it's just a matter of yeah, you're right. Yeah, but you know, I mean, it, I think that's that just sort of goes on one of the interesting things that I constantly in in my nerdier circles,、um, <laughs> just when when people start talking about ghosts, like I I feel like I constantly have to remind them that the 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 Japanese version is actually a translation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I wanna... I, I, ooh, like ooh, ooh. yeah, I know. I I can't get get into it too much because it, I know, I know, it'll get heated. But it is a, it but is it's a... just it's a, like wink, like、yeah. we love it, we love it. It's great, but like understand that <laughs> it is a, it is a one of a kind. To be honest,、I、yeah,、guess. yeah. Yeah, I think I think that makes it sort of unique in 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 the way that is I don't know the way that it sort of. I, I mean, I've definitely、scary. had an evolution about it as well, you know, because in the beginning, like you get married to, you know, what you did in your audition, which which got you your job. So you think, oh yeah, and this was so much fun. It was so over the top comedic, and it was fun, right? But 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 then as time goes on, and when you can step back. And and、uh, and look at the larger picture. It totally did become a thing for me. It's like, well, now wait a second, James. Hold on a second, pal. If we, you know, when we talk about authenticity and being genuine, wouldn't that mean then that you would actually build a time machine, go back in time, find a real <laughs> Japanese samurai to play this guy? Shouldn't everybody just be like from Japan, and shouldn't they be from these places? And it's like, wait a second. We're a bunch of actors, and how know, far do we go? <laughs> 2015 and, and and whatever and and、um, 
and and yeah, at least you know in this case, you know uh, we are all Asian Americans that get to do it, and so now Asians are representing Asians. But then, w- yeah, you we can take the 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 thing of authenticity and what's genuine and and what's real is, and there's not one uh, thing right that's gonna make everybody happy, right? Some people, are yeah, be, you know, with, nothing is monolithic, right? No I mean, group oh- is. It's also that thing of authenticity is such a vague fucking. Thing. Sorry, like, yeah. and I, I, I think that off. Uh, I, I also feel like specifically in an Asian American context, authenticity is a thing oh, that is man. both lorded over us and then held oh, from yes. us, Absolutely. because we are mm. because we are Asian American because we sort of sit in this liminal place. And you know, I feel like I feel that I've talked about it because of being and Dice under you know being a third culture kid because, um, and just that sort of other displacement of being even more outside of a culture where you're like, wow, but that thing where it's like, oh, but you're not actually this Asian. And then at the same time, it's like, but then that automatically means that you're not this American or what have you. It's sort of this thing that most of the time also authenticity, you know, for us, like we feel it. I feel like I feel authenticity in like what I eat, in like how I how I like you know the the senses that I experience around the people who do have that actual authenticity. Whereas in like a context, authenticity often feels like a, a thing, like a metric that is held by white people, men in power, usually, but to to sort of either legitimize or delegitimize my actual value. Yeah, um, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Ugh, I mean, sorry, this is a lot of stuff to just sort of. <laughs> no, 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 but this is yeah. this is great. No, because because <laughs> this is this this goes absolutely to the root of I think what what so many people uh, 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 live with and everything like that. This question of authenticity. All right, so like me, right? You know, I've been accused of uh, you know being phony, not being Asian. It's like, wait a second. So, so. When I was 11 years old and a guy throws a beer bottle at me and it breaks on my leg and calls me a chink to get the fuck out of his country, right? Am I any less Asian than anybody in that moment? Just because, you know, I got an accent from where I grew up from. I didn't grow up in an Asian community. Yeah. But you like how a lot of people of color say, does this wash you off? You know, when I was in in Shreveport, Louisiana to shoot a movie and uh, my second day, second day there, I walk out of the Hilton Hotel and a beat up pickup truck pulls up a guy. It was like ridiculous. Three people in 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 (laughs) right in the pickup truck, but of the butt of a shotgun sticking right out. And the driver asks me, you from China, boy? Oh and God. in that split second, in that split second, I had to decide what am I going to do that is going to, I don't know. Save if he's your messing life. With me. Save my life. <laughs> I don't know if he's messing with me. I don't know if he's just joking. I don't know if he's just trying to be a bully. I don't know what. He seems drunk and high, but he's got a shotgun and I made the choice that the safest thing, because what am I going to say? I say, no, I'm American. That could piss him off. I say, no, I'm from New York. I'm American. That's the truth. That could piss him off. So I made the choice in a split second to pretend that I was some some fish out of water tourist. And I just did this <laughs> like that, like I didn't understand what he said. And then nice. they laughed. He laughed at me and drove off. So in that moment, right, am I less Asian because, you know, my Japanese is not fluent because I was not born and raised in Asia. It's like this whole thing is so ridiculous. It's just like when I'm I'm sure when when somebody's told they're not black enough or whatever or they're not this enough, it's ridiculous. We're human beings. We're human beings. And and the 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 struggles, whatever they are, the prejudices, whatever they are, the 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 preconceived ideas of uh, who we are and what we are. I mean, it, it, all those things are going to happen anyway. And really, um, the bigger problem really is why people go to those ideas. 
because no group is monolithic and, and everything. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And, and the thing about acting, guys, and I'm sorry I'm like dominating this thing. but I'm, No, I'm just, please, this is what this, you're thinking. The, the thing about the acting thing, absolutely, Earl, fucking 100% dead on, man. It's like this. It's like this, right? If, uh, if, if, if a Caucasian actor, right? I was told this once and it was brilliant. If a Caucasian actor were to do a Scottish accent or an Irish accent, he gets nominated for an Oscar and is told, well, great deal in craft he has. If an Asian American actor like myself or like you guys, or like so many of us, right? We may have parents who have, who are immigrants and stuff, but we know they're not stereotypes, right? We know that they're not caricatures. And though they may speak with really, really, really thick accents, we don't think it's funny. We don't think they're a butt of jokes. We know how hard it was for them to get to even that level of English. And there's some tremendous nuance. Not every single word sounds the same. Not everything is shouted and screamed. Not everything, right? And it's hard to really authentically sound like you know, my mother and father did, is hard. Yeah. And they sounded worlds apart in the way they spoke English, right? Mm -hmm. And and so, but if we do that, well, of course, you know, we're Asian. It's it's nothing, there was no craft involved, there was no <laughs> skill involved, there was no, right? Yeah, it's this you know, oh, you, you just, that's, that's, how, that's how you grew up. Like, that's, yeah. what you, that's what you... Yeah, and everything, you know? Um, <laughs> you know, but, but if somebody, if a... You know, and I don't want to make this a Caucasian versus, but it, but but it is to say that that um, uh, those uh, who have had the benefit of being uh, in a position of power uh, don't don't really recognize and see it sometimes, and uh, and we see it all the time. For example, you know how many times you know you say this to any act of color, and you you get the nods right where <laughs> you have a casting director who does not speak any Japanese or Chinese or Korean oh. or oh. Vietnamese or Thai or, 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 yep. or, you know, anything and everything and telling you, uh, if you could ramp up an accent or lessen or, or the random, uh, can we try it with an Asian accent? And then it's like, that's that's not even a thing man <laughs> yeah uh just 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 like are we talking about like breakfast at tiffany's is that what you're because when you say asian accent that's what i think of. <laughs> oh man gosh man thank you so much for thank for, yeah uh that 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 just i feel like it's just it's it's just always refreshing when when you hear from from other people where it's like, all oh, right, we're we are experiencing this. This isn't. I'm not just a crazy person. Sometimes where it's like, no way. This, if, this no, has, but this, guys, everyone. And it, yeah, and it's, <laughs> I never saw uh, the 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 whole comparing between the. You know, I, I've thought of it in different ways, but not in the the context that you just described. Of like, yeah, you're right. That context some, is. Yeah, some uh, yeah English speakers who do different accents it's like wow they do so many accents but yeah we with asians it's like you do that and it could be like seen as um offensive it's like or something you know it's always seen yeah in, in a negative or way. if you do it well that you know well it's joe well, it's, psh, it's, you yeah. know that's your, your whatever your you're just yeah. yeah i think there's there's a double fold in that where i i also find it really just horrifying sometimes when people are like oh well you're just doing a caricature it's like no no there are people that sound like the way right. i'm talking right now like right. like that yeah. is a it is an accent that 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 belongs to a real person like people talk like this and they're not a, a, a they're yeah. not a caricature they're not a a, 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 a farce you know and Absolutely. and it's also there's this programming as well where it's like immediately i, I think especially in american media from like we're going back to like Fu Manchu levels of, of, you know, representation, you know, like Charlie Chan, level, you know, like when we go back where it, it is that like what has been constantly purported as how we should sound <laughs> aligns with this, with this stereotype that, that gets sort of pushed and has been sort of pushed through, you know, 
Hollywood through and that, film and TV. And that was set by white people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, can you do that thing? <laughs> and maybe that maybe that's what they're asking for. Yeah. Um, I really want to, because um, uh, we're talking, I mean, these are all great things, but I really want to get into your uh, journey as an actor because you went to Juilliard. Yes. Ooh. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I, whatever, whatever, just, you know, whatever. Just, uh, and then you did M Butterfly Arena Stage where... Yeah. That's the that's the theater that we were gonna work at, right? <laughs> yes, that was the. Th yeah. I was just telling James this oh, right are? before, literally right before you flipped us on, and it was like, oh, oh, maybe we'll talk about it. <laughs> yeah, but we Dice and I were 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 going to be in uh, last year. Yeah, we're going we're to be doing a show in Rashomon in, in Arena Stage. But... Yeah, no, man. I hope that comes back, man. I hope that comes back. You would be great in yeah. it too. But <laughs> what? So what was that like? Because you had a, a reaction just now with Juilliard. <laughs> <laughs> we had a reaction for Juilliard. We had a reaction. We, let's 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 mine these reactions, shall we? Is that All okay? Right, you know. <laughs> So I'm going to try to, you know, because, man, you get me going and I go off and off. And off you know? But so I'm going to try to economize. I think in the in the time that we're living in right now, uh, where. I mean, some of it, honestly, I think is just. Um, is 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 maybe for show, but hopefully some of it has actual substance when people talk about, uh, uh, you know, diversity and and not just I, now that's that's really the wrong thing mm -hmm. when they really talk about racial injustice in america today and 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 there is more conversation about it today and i think that weaves in with um with with almost every aspect of american life so my experience at juilliard this was all these things that we've been talking about i think apply to my experience at that school too don't get me wrong i'd do it again in a heartbeat there were many many things um, that that um, as a student, I would have changed about my own behavior. So mm -hmm. I say that with 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 100% honesty that I could have absolutely carried myself in a much much better way when I was a student. Um, but I I did think that institutionally there were problems uh, with that school, which are no different than than the problems that exist with the institutions all over this country. You know, mm -hmm. so it's, it's so, systemic. I'm I'm grateful for it. Mm -hmm. I I I would say that it was an extremely unique experience that um, in my life that I don't think can quite be duplicated in that way because you're literally in a cocoon for four years. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, for better or for worse, you know, 9 a.m. to 10 p.m., 11 p.m. every single yep. day, Monday through Friday, and then all day rehearsals on and and stuff on Saturdays, and then Sundays is the only day that you have to work on your scenes with classmates and, and homework or whatever and for four years basically right yeah. so mm -hmm. that's a that is a cocoon of, and and the thing about julio which is a little different from maybe other schools is that there's no academic anything attached to it right um um uh, i think this is a safe thing to say about julia and i think it's still a problem that they you know that they cope with today what i think is very unhealthy is uh, or or not um, the best thing about the school is how divided the divisions are. So, you know, it was a music school first and mm -hmm. then came the drama division and the dance division, right? And literally, if you don't make it an effort on whatever little free time, especially you have as a drama student, I know musicians have a lot more free time on their hands, but they use that free time to practice, 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 right? So they're in rooms all by themselves practicing, right? All day long. And if you didn't make it an effort upon yourself, you're surrounded by world-class musician and world-class dancers, right? I don't know about the world-class acting part, but you're definitely surrounded by world-class <laughs> musicians and world-class dancers. And if you don't make it an effort to be exposed to that, you can go four years and not see a music concert. Oh, you could yeah. go four years and not see a dance concert. Be and the, the divisions are so divided, they don't even try to set up times uh, for you to be able to to uh um, meet interact or, and, yeah. and, and 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 you know you will meet them and all that stuff but i mean i'm talking about being immersed in their craft the thing that these young super super talented people uh came here for like so my journey into acting dice 
it, it was not a natural fit for me, especially from where I'm from. Nobody like the most uh, famous person from my neighborhood is Sandy Koufax. He was he he pitched high school ball in my neighborhood in ben, Bensonhurst, right? And mm-hmm. and and uh, but you know, so the arts was not a natural gravitation for me. It's something that came much later in my life uh, and everything. So so my first experience. Um, of seeing a classical music concert was at the Juilliard School, oh. and I took it upon myself to go, and I was the only, uh, and I saw all these kids at Avery Fisher Hall. It's not Avery Fisher anymore, but it, you know, these kids who were like 18, 19, 20 years old, uh, uh, you know, playing Tchaikovsky or something, and it was, I was blown away. Uh, it, you know, a kid from, from Brooklyn who who really wasn't exposed to much, and it was it was insane i couldn't believe it. i could i i was like holy smokes you know but but so i wish there were more of those kinds of um experiences that the school would actually set up and that's easy that's not even difficult what i wish mostly for for the juilliard school though is you know we always talk like so they send out this uh thing every year you know this this view book or something to prospective students or or to anybody who just wants to know about the school or whatever. Mm-hmm. And in the drama section, you know, I remember I read this thing where they always, you know, use the, the, uh, the, the, the Shakespeare thing of, you know, you know, uh, you know, they, they, they paraphrase around it and say, well, you know, drama, you know, uh, we, we try to hold up a mirror to society and, but at its best theater at its best, you know, we try to show a better way to live. And I, and, and I, and I, I always thought to me, man, that's a very arrogant statement, you know, because <laughs> it's because it's the, right. You're assuming that, yeah. that, you know, you somehow know a better freaking way to live than all these other people. And it's like, OK, so then let's 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 dissect this and examine who you people are, who you think, you know, so much better than the way people should live and and everything. It's like, oh, OK, so you're a bunch of really, really upper middle class people who grew up in the suburbs in a particular way. You know, <laughs> you're all. I mean, yeah, I mean, let's just be honest. For sure, though. And like, what do you know about what it is to grow up poor in Brooklyn or grow up poor in rural America or grow up, you know, uh, uh, biracial or this or that or or, you know, um, you know what do you know about those things so yeah you know my my wish for the school had always been you know jesus christ i wish they would get in some academics that 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 could actually because like yo how can you represent so-called society or even be if you're not even aware of all the different segments of it and everything like that um mm-hmm. um how 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 effective of a of a of a storyteller and an artist communicator can you be if you don't even know the basic history of this country where yeah. if you went to pu- a crappy public school like me uh and, and didn't get self-educated later on uh you know you would you know i didn't know that japanese internment existed until i was 20 years old hmm. so yeah. i i think it's a disservice to just do uh Breathing exercises, acting class, movement class. And it's all that is important. But like, it makes my you, God, it, have yeah. an informed citizen. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And I and Julia doesn't have anything like that. Like that the, the, the we, we write book reports on like you know philosophy books and shit like that, and it's the most BS way to get a, a, a degree. But it's <laughs> it's not academic at all. I'm just being straight. <laughs> As I yeah, you hear you're hearing it here. I mean, I went to UCLA, but I can relate to a, a lot of what you just said. It's yeah, yeah, it's prevalent. So, it, yeah. but anyway, long story long, I guess you know. Um, <laughs> this is a very interesting thing how I got how I became an actor. Dice yeah. up, yeah, the, sure. I'll give you the the, the quick version of it. So, uh, after high school, I went to the army. I, I was a bust in the army. I I, uh, I I I got medically discharged. I thought I was going to be there a lifer, and I was you know I was this kid from Brooklyn. I was completely directionless. And I didn't know what I was doing. And so when I when I when I got back home much sooner than I expected, I was I was miserable. I, I felt sorry for myself, and I was really angry and all this stuff. And and I was being a total uh, you know doing nothing. So then my sister said, "Why don't you?" Uh, uh, 
why don't you get a job or something? I was, I'm, I'm, too, I'm too upset to get a job. My job is supposed to be in the army. And so, <laughs> so I was being a total loser. And then, my, so then my, sister, my, sister, my sister suggested I do something then, well, then go see a therapist. And I was like, oh, that shit is bullshit. And so then she said, she said, uh, well, then do something creative. And she gave me a backstage, which, uh, you know, people in New York, you know, know that it's this, Yeah, you got a backstage. Was, hey. you, you know, and in the summer, it was the summertime in New York. And, and there's like all these people with all these classes and whatever. On a, you know, so I was like, all right, I'll, 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 like, I actually was, you know, I did an eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I picked this lady, lady who's still the best acting teacher, by the way, that I ever oh. had in my life. Who, who is it? You know, I didn't know it. Who at, is it? Who is it? Whoops. Her name's Mar uh. Mar Marjorie Ballantyne. Is she um, still working? She, <laughs> I'm going to write it down. Yeah, she's, she's coaching now in LA. Um, oh, but, damn. Oh, yeah okay. she, so 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 you know long story short so uh, the 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 class I, I i gotta say it was much more of a uh i think it was really important what my introduction to acting was because this was a lady that didn't allow you to get up and just act or whatever she, you needed to do research on like so if we're working on a play she goes, you need to know what was happening in the way that you know who the president is today. These people knew who the president was. So who was the president in 1941? Who was the president in 1936, 1954? You know, boom, 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 boom. How yeah. do they know their bedroom like you know your bedroom? How do you know your neighborhood like they, you know, what are the differences between what you would know and they would know and all this stuff? That led me, oddly enough, my curiosity was finally peaked because I was such an angry dude, right? Yeah. And there was never any, and I couldn't understand why I was always so angry. Huh. But then when I finally, uh, you know, I'm just jumping ahead, that, that curiosity that she first instilled in me then brought me to uh, uh, getting educated. I, I, I took um, uh, uh, courses at, a, at, a, at, a, at Hunter College in New York. I had this one teacher, Professor Brown, one of the most amazing, amazing educators I've ever met in my life. And oddly enough, an African-American history course that absolutely fucking blew open the doors for my life because it because it, it put a societal historical context to so many things that I was seeing and feeling and just didn't know. Mm. And I could put yeah. so many pieces together of why so many things happen. I could put pieces together of why why a grandfather in my neighborhood who's Sicilian, right, um, you know, sees something in me and is able to talk to me like I'm his kid, yet his grandkid who was born and raised and has the benefits of being an American and, and not being an ostracized immigrant, right, is, is a stone cold racist. How does that happen? Do you know what I mean? And everything. So, so the most important things that I needed to learn, I learned in Marjorie's. But then I went and I just got jobs. You know, my life progressed. I, I, you know, uh, and everything. And then my sister said, you know, James, I saw you act in Marjorie's class. You're pretty good at this. You know, why don't you like try to audition for schools like Juilliard or something like that? And I was like, I get the fuck out of here. I'm like, <laughs> me be an actor. This is, this is ridiculous, right? So then my sister put an application for the school in my what? hand. She says, it's one day out of your life. Oh, she wow. goes, you don't get in, you don't, you don't get in, you know, you go back to your job on Monday. I was like, yeah, absolutely right. So I, I, uh, my, my birthday's in early February, the auditions in New York were the last week in the January. It happened so quick. And like a few days after my birthday, I got a call from the Juilliard drama division and said, we'd like to offer you a spot in the incoming hey. class. Wow. So it, wow. it completely changed my life. It changed the trajectory of my life, everything. Because working class people in my neighborhood, I'll tell you, the, the, the one feeling that we have is it, 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 historically uh, people from my neighborhood is work is so much about who we are, our identity and everything like it, our yeah, ability absolutely. to support ourselves. So people in my neighborhood sometimes don't, don't like, they're so afraid of losing a job that they won't try to get a better job or or learn something different mm -hmm. um, for fear of, well, I got this right now, yeah. so I better hold on to it mm -hmm. right, with all my might. I, I'm no different and stuff like that. So it was, it was really, 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 uh, for me, culture shock and 
and um, really, really hard my first years, especially at, at school, because you know I I had a full time job. I was helping my mom. Uh, I was becoming a man that I was proud of, and all of a sudden, you know, I couldn't have my job anymore, and so. I'm like, well, then, you know, it was really hard, really, really hard. But I'm glad I did it. No, 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 no doubt about it. My, my, my mind, my curiosity, my, my critical thinking, my societal views, all those things, starting from Marjorie's class, all the way till now, um, has definitely evolved into somebody that you know I really, really, really know who the hell I am, what my values are, and you know. And I'm super grounded in that, and and so for that I'm 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 super super grateful. Yeah. Um, but I wish Juilliard uh, had a greater effect uh, towards that. I I wish for the especially these really young kids coming in and stuff. And some of them, I mean, I'm telling you, man. I like this. <laughs> I remember early in my my first week of school, somebody came up and shook my hand like crazy, and I was like, "What's going on here?" Right? Uh -huh. And 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 I remember it was somebody that was. It seemed like they were keeping their distance from me, right? And everything, uh, a classmate. And I'm just gonna say, it's a Caucasian classmate from a very small town in rural America. And finally, this this classmate told me, "You are the first Asian person." <laughs> I have ever physically seen or touched, and so I, that's why if you felt I was being weird around you, it's just you're so you are not what I was expecting, right? So how can you let this guy go for four years in New York, where so much is at your disposal, and not try to actively? Uh, broaden his horizons, other than breathing on the floor, moving around, and doing, <laughs> feeling his you body, because, breathing through his anal channel. <laughs> right? Wouldn't that make him a better actor? If, 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 yeah. Because be by the nature of our program, he's not even going to really hang out much in New York anyway, mm. right? Yeah. He's going to be stuck in classrooms all day long. Yep. So then, right. why not bring in? An African American. Why not bring in a, 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 a Latino American, an Asian American history professor, or, or a, an LGBTQ uh, uh, um, a professor? Somebody yeah. that that you know, kind of like yo, shows this opens up a whole new uh, thing to this guy that he never experienced. And and for me, for that man, it's not like I freaking know it all. No, like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and and yeah. that's what I think is really missing there. But but it, so hopefully I got to. It's a very narrow concentration. You know. And so but, yeah. But here I am as an actor now, right? So struggling whenever and, and I, whatever. But but I wouldn't yeah. I wouldn't change it now. <laughs> wouldn't change it. You know? Man, I, I yeah. I want to say so. I want to respond to so many of that. What what one? Well, one <laughs> your sister is amazing. How? Yeah, your you sister's a, rad. Do you have a close relationship with your? Sister, I mean, I I imagine. Oh uh, yeah, I do, I do. My my, my, my sister, my, my sister and I are very very close, very very close. Um, and, and uh, yeah. I owe her, I owe her so much. You know, it's it's weird because, uh, yeah, without it, I don't I don't think you know I would have uh, become an actor. Yeah, I don't think so. And how, I, how you know I wouldn't even known if this was a thing that I could do, and I certainly would have told you get the fuck out of here. It's ridiculous. And when I was a kid, yeah. you know. What, what we what we've become now is like the people that I would have made fun of when I was 13. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> um, how, yeah, how, and how do you deal with uh, with the uncertainty? Because you said you are kind of you know, uh, kind of like the people back home where you 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 know you worry about um, finding getting that next job. Are you used to it by now? Like just letting it be. Oh yeah, you know so so. You know, so here's the thing about me, right? Like, you know, I've never been a really wet behind the ears kind of kid, right? If if anything, I have to fight from being cynical, right? So, <laughs> so, 
and and here's the thing if there are any other uh um actors in general you don't have to be asian and i know it's you know it's but especially you know for um uh you know young actors out there if you're on on this chat and whatever um i i believe this is one person's opinion just one person's take it you know take it for what it's worth one, in one year out the other um going into it there has to be a certain level of acceptance of this is what we asked for now going into this i knew i just looked up statistics right when 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 i first graduated from school it was god awful right less than 2% of all roles less than 2% of all roles in theater film and television went to actors of asian american descent that includes central asian south asian freaking all of us okay that's like already saying that to do this statistically you're giving yourself a possible 2% what does that mean out of 100 auditions you might get two of them is what it means mm. think about that so if this is what you love to do and i know this is going to sound so cliche or whatever so whatever i understand we live in a really expensive world man this is a no joke you know capitalism run a muck <laughs> system we live under i know that's maybe a discussion for someone else but but it's expensive right so real world uh. problems real life issues right so i get it but i i encourage this to all the young actors that might be on this right now i encourage this 100,000% and again take it or leave it whatever it's just my opinion mm. but as much as you can do not place any value of who you are your value as a person your value as a brother sister wife husband son daughter or any of these things person on this planet based on um the dollar amount on a paycheck that you get from this business if i had never acted a day in my life where you know i earned a paycheck from it would i still be the same actor yeah i would hmm If I graduated from Juilliard, if I never got in, would I still be the same person? Yeah, I would. Those are the things that are the most important. Those are the things that keep me grounded. There's no shame at all whatsoever in picking up side jobs, doing this, doing that, whatever. You're just being a person like everybody else that's trying to succeed and survive. You know, there's also no shame in being an actor. Zero. You know, I mean, yeah. um we're the only we're like one of the only businesses right where if somebody acts for a while and then they they come on hard times and they got to go pick up a shift here or a shift there they get a different job they go all oh, these are has been i was like wait a second hold on a second in any normal segment of society on the news if we see you know during the 2008 crash or during this freaking pandemic with people 8 and a half million people the entire population in new york city okay a size of that number fell below the poverty line Yeah. Right? So if that person who used to work in an office and now got a part-time job bagging groceries at Walmart and was able to do something, anything to help himself and his family, we we applaud that and say say, you know, that's a stand-up thing to do. That's Absolutely. that's the right thing to do, right? So then why is it if a person who's been acting and all of a sudden has to do that and they're a fucking loser or a has been or 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 we should look down on them or they're not real and it's because of this 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 um this hollywood uh star system uh thing mm. that 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 only people you know seem uh to really really be aware of but the overwhelming vast majority of us in this country be overwhelming vast majority of actors in this country are working class actors working Absolutely. class people <laughs> so, we don't, we, you know, we don't have we don't, don't have multiple houses <laughs> don't don't so here's the thing you're not any less of an actor you're not any less of a person you're not any less of anything Absolutely you know um and and everything and don't ever 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 place the value of who you are don't let it become everything man you you you're more well rounded than before you ever got interested in acting man weren't there like you were like this person who did this and this and this right you like sports or you like this or you like music you like that you know and all this be all those things still um Absolutely. it you know how so much of how this business goes 
really isn't even up to us anyway. Mm. So control what you can control. For and sure. Here's the, and here's the other thing. Here's the other thing, the other advice that I want to give. And this is a little schizophrenic. And this is probably the best skill that I have today as an actor. And I'll tell you exactly what it is, right? And that's this. It is this. Every single audition I get, even when I think, oh my God, there's no chance in hell, you know, I'm totally wrong for this, whatever, all right? That happens to everybody. But every audition that I get, I'll, I'll, I'll go after it like, a, like, like, like I, you know, put my, cause why bother? Why else? Why else do it if you ain't going balls to the wall a hundred percent, right? Mm, so you, truly. you, 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 you fucking go after it you pour your heart and soul into it every time you audition is an opportunity to act you might not be getting paid for it or whatever but it is acting so have fun doing the thing that you love to do if this is what you love to do then have fun doing the thing that you love to do but then once the audition is over and just as a physical kind of representation of what i'm talking about if i have sides i like to tear them up and throw them away and hey, that is, that's good. That is the mm. schizophrenic thing that I think as a skill is invaluable. Don't you cannot live and die with every audition. So so Ooh, yeah. So go after it like you give a fuck, but then afterwards forget that it ever happened. It's the craziest mm. thing. But if yeah. you can do that well, then that's so in a long that's longevity. Way, guys, that's what sustains <laughs> me. I don't I'm I, you know, I'm not going to be rocked so much by what happens to me in this business or not. I'm I, nothing is I'm entitled to nothing. Uh, you know, I, I'm super lucky when everything, anything comes, but you know, I'm totally fine. If one day I got to go and drive a truck. Mm. Yeah. So if you get a call back, you would have to reprint the scenes, the sides. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying yeah, to... Yeah, or... No, that's but now the... mentally, I, I do that's... it. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't hold on to anything. I, I now we do digital. Hold on to anything. Like, yeah. <laughs> now like, we just do know, digital. So, that's like the only reason why I keep them. It's like, eh, I can get called back, maybe. Which is probably not good for my mind. So I should, I should probably <laughs> rip it up and then just, you know. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't... Yeah, I try my... And then we're human, right? So there's some things, obviously, like, oh, that was a cool project. I wish it, you know, but... Yeah. No, totally. no, man, don't get married to, to nothing. I mean, think about it, right? In yeah, our business, if you sure. have a job for four months, it's an eternity. What yeah. a business where you would say, like, my brother got an office job and he was only in it for four months at a time. I'd be like, holy shit. Dang, that was a long time. <laughs> we yeah, wouldn't right? say that, yeah. Um, yeah, so. We are, uh, this, we, this is, I would love to keep talking to you, but this conversation is making me love you the person and not just i love kenji but getting to know but we love better. james but we love james <laughs> we and love james you know who else loves james our very own marnelli uh mixes um <laughs> and she wrote a love letter both to kenji and james i think so uh if you if you're new here marnelli is uh works at sucker punch and she's our mod and uh she's in charge of discord a lot of um, this wouldn't have happened um, without marnelli's it's true it was me, Earl, and Marnelli. Just, yeah. So, okay. So this is a so love letter, it, it, and we're gonna ask James to read it out loud. <laughs> Wait. So, Dice, you gotta excuse my ignorance. So, this is where I go back to to the docs. You go back to our, our chat. Yeah, to our, the chat. Yeah, right? to the chat in yeah. our chat. Okay. And then there's like, the is link. Mar is yeah. Marnelli here. Is Marnelli here? Did Marnelli leave? Is she? Is she dying? Oh, Billy's, oh, Billy's here. here Oh, Billy's here. Mr. I mean, Billy. I mean, this is going to be in the VODs anyway, so. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to stop. Oh, she's here. She's, she's here. here. My Nelly is okay. here. I'm going to stop the music. So, so all right. It's more I found it. I found it. All right. Let's. Okay. <laughs> Ready when you are, James. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So I've been reading it for the first time since yes, right? Yeah. Uh, Dice, reading so. it for the first time. Right. Okay. Um. It started with a totally innocuous comment. We should get Kenji to read a letter to Marnelli. It was another one of those jokes that bubbled up from the Q&A pit, something that happened so long ago that I can't even remember the original context behind the comment. But it was so out of the blue, so random that it stuck in my head, but mostly just as a funny thought. That's not something that's going to happen, but imagine if it could, ha ha. Honestly, I wouldn't even know what to write in this letter. At the time, I didn't really know Kenji all that well. 
I'd mostly been relegated to specific parts of the game that didn't really involve him. And my awareness of who he was mostly came from scouring the character files or seeing mentions of him in available missions. At the time, my favorite character was Ryuzo, so the idea of having some kind of fan interaction with Kenji threw me for a loop. As time continued on and I worked on more and more of the game, I came to realize something. Kenji was more than just a side character. He was more than just some comedic relief to rag on for messing yet another thing up. He did fulfill the trope of dopey, lovable ragamuffin who often got into more trouble than he was worth with his almighty friend at the ready to bail him out, albeit begrudgingly. But beyond that surface level, he always struck me as someone who always had good intentions, always wanted to be a good guy, a hero, but was stuck in a shitty situation. The people he ended up scamming were often bandits, criminals, people who were making bad situations worse for people around them. The people he tried to help were villagers, farmers, average people who were unable to fend off the bad guys themselves. He may not have been good at what he did when he helped, but his intentions were pure. Even with Taka, especially with Taka, Kenji always spoke with a brotherly affection whenever mentioning Taka. If you speak to Kenji after Jin and Shimura's argument, the amount of sadness he has in his voice, the sheer contrast to the character we've been seeing all this time, it kind of breaks your heart. Anyway, Kenji is a good character. Where once I barely even knew who he was, he grew on me in the blink of an eye. I didn't even realize how much I had come to like him as a character until there was just no more Kenji. He doesn't fight like Norio, Lady Masako, Sensei Shikawa, or Yuna. He only had a few things he was able to do and help with, and once his purpose had been served, there wasn't any reason for him to continue being around. And I mean probably for the best. There was a war going on after all. But even if it was a joke, I remember a lot of us on the team mentioning that if we ever did make DLC for Ghosts, we wanted more Kenji content. I'd still like that, honestly. James, your portrayal mm. of this character was amazing. Thank you for being our Kenji. Thank you for bringing this character to life. And thanks for bearing with me through this cheesy letter. Mm. No, nah, it's not cheesy at all, man. It's awesome. <laughs> Kenji, keep fighting the good fight. You're a gem. Monelli, P.S. Thank you, uh, Dyson Earl, for letting me write this. I thought, oh, man, that's awesome. Thank you. Yay. Thanks, Monelli. If you're out there, thank you so much. <laughs> One of the sweetest things, anything. I've, yeah, I've, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. And that's really um, unbelievably sweet. Um, we yeah. we did we did get a. Question. I don't get I don't get a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> you, you deserve it. I mean, um, you should you should take a poke around Twitter sometime. There's a lot of people love Kenji. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm such an old school cat and everything. Like, you know, I've never had a Facebook account. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. my gosh. No you're, that's could, glorious. I'm not on Twitter. I'm yeah, not you're not on Instagram. Instagram. That must feel good so good. Good for you. Good for gosh. You. I, I feel like I'm just sort of that, like, it has me. It has every part of me now. I, I, <laughs> I'm in the machine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, uh, but that uh, was really that was really amazing. That was really sweet. That was one. Yes. Thank you, Monelli. Thanks so much. I appreciate it very, very much. Yes, and there was one question, nothing sensible, but I think it's already answered. But so um, it says, uh, since it's been established that on a surface level you're unlike Kenji, is there any component of his personality that you relate to? But I feel like just reading hit, that letter we hit, we hit, yeah we hit some things just reading that letter i feel like there's a is there lot. anything in particular i mean i'm sad that there's no that the miko never happened a lot of is there is energy. there a miko is there a miko in your life a real miko in your life are you a are okay. you a pet person are you a pet person no, at I, all or i i i so i i love dogs i love dogs and i love and i love cats now too when i was little i didn't like cats but i i, I do i do i do i do i love i love pets I love pets. Amazing. But um, yeah. I the one thing that I'll say is something that I think prior uh, said before. You know, um, a lot of times in in my life, absolutely, I have used humor. I have used humor in, as a way to sort of kind of uh, make things safe, right? Yeah. And I bet we all have. And absolutely. so that 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 thing, absolutely, I I connect with uh, with Kenji. Um, because you know that's that's his 
that's his trump card, right? Mm. Um, he's he's fast on his feet, and he's also yeah. And you know what? Also, you know, for better or for worse, I'm a very, you know, I'm a street smart. I'm if there was one smart that I have, it's street smarts, right? <laughs> and everything. Hey. again, I have to fight against that instinct, <laughs> you know, because because it can really make you negative a lot of times and absolutely and and everything and 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 you know. Kenji is a street smart like a fox, right? So there's actually something about Kenji that I I actually emulate a little bit. Whereas my street smarts make me very, very, very serious, uh, and mm. can be limiting in my life. I think for Kenji, um, his street smarts uh, lead him on, you know, <laughs> not adventures. always the safest adventure, but <laughs> adventures, right? And everything, and he's game for the adventure. So that's something mm -hmm. that I do really like about a. Uh, 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 Kenji a lot but yeah so those things for sure for sure there That's are awesome. things there that, that that I relate to we also have a classic Billy and Nate question which is what oh is right the, what is the weirdest thing that they have made you do um if you don't have one I, I would like to quite or and or mm -hmm. what what's your favorite like because you did so many funny things and fu said funny yeah. said funny things <laughs> funny bits like what's yeah. your favorite <laughs> as well Okay, have, so have I, I do to do anything weird. I, I see the thing is right. Oh, maybe he, it's maybe not I, weird to us. I feel like, when it's, <laughs> especially at that point, we're like, oh yeah, I'll do. Oh, of course, yeah, that makes total sense. I'll I'll pretend <laughs> yeah. as though I'm jumping from from uh, rock to rock over a bubbling spring while I uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm singing a weird song. Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, totally. That's yeah. I mean <laughs> exactly. I think the way we started out too, right? When we started out with something that was like way more wide open and broad, right? Mm -hmm. It was, it was, it was, uh, you know, so as, as time went on and everything, um, you know, I didn't think anything was, was, was weird or strange. I will say, Dice, I don't know if you, you remember this, but it was in, it was in the Gone the Butcher scene where, <laughs> and I go out there. And uh, yeah, I think I did definitely ad lib in that thing, where you know, I, I you know the the code word is. Oh yes, um, I love that. That's my favorite. <laughs> right? Yeah. I was like, uh, wait, with the what was the code with the code phrase? Uh, was uh, uh, I? What? What is what, it? I'm so happy yeah, to see. Oh, you. No, shit. they know. Yeah, the I'm chat, so happy to see you. The chat I'm knows so happy better. to see you. Right? I'm so happy <laughs> to see you. Thank you, Noskaya. And when we were when we were in the uh, when we were in the booth and everything. Yeah. When we were doing that, when we were doing that, and I was going off like a lunatic. I I can't remember <laughs> half the stuff that I was saying. And and I just remember I was like I was I was and obviously we can't curse. But I was going like. I was, Lord Sakai, where the hell are you already? What the fuck? I was like, <laughs> fucking happy to see you or something. Because like because we were we were we you know just playing the the like you know because I go I'm so happy to see you and then you're <laughs> yeah. still not there and I go I'm just so happy to see you. Did you freak it out? <laughs> you know and, and then like uh, you know so that was but a lot of that stuff didn't get into because it was no. like um, but uh, that was hilarious. not the right tone. That was uh, <laughs> that I had so much fun just uh, uh, going off on that one. And, Amazing. <laughs> and Wait, then, it, did Billy Billy saying that the, Nate and Billy made you made you pretend to be a Pats fan? <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> oh, oh God! That's amazing. I love okay, so I love guys, it. Okay, we I gotta love talk it about so this. much. We gotta talk I about gotta this. tell you how sacri <laughs> dude. I am a diehard, so I, I am diehard, diehard life a, a Jets fan. It has been painful in football mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, to mm -hmm. to to do anything. <laughs> to do uh, the Patriots just you know could not lose enough for me. Oh you know God, yeah, I hear you. Uh, I hear you. So I don't I'm, even like football, but I know I hate the Patriots. <laughs> Wait, so wait, this is football and and your favorite baseball team is uh, the Mets. The Mets. The Mets. Yes. Wait, so are they both cuz I don't know much about football they're and baseball. They're both from New York. They're both yes. from New York and they're both kind of not the most winning team, is that what I'm understanding? Yeah, 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 that's right, guys. What is that? What is that? What is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is yeah. that? But what does that tell you about yourself? Like is it loyal? Loyalty. 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 Yeah. 
I mean, I'm a Sacramento Kings fan of basketball, so I, I can, Ooh. you know, brutal, I can relate. Brutal, we got, brutal, yeah, brutal. I mean, I'm a Cubs fan, so like, I get it. I totally get oh, it. Yeah, yeah, Cubs. The only other, actually, the only other uh, baseball team I've seen more uh, live is the Mets than the Cubs. So yeah, I've been to more Mets games than than yeah. So <laughs> well, you know, that's for you. Listen. The Mets and Jets and are really, and that's a little bit, I think, uh, another like Brooklynish thing about me. Because my neighborhood where I'm from, you know, all the old timers were Brooklyn Dodgers fans. When the Dodgers fans, when the Dodgers left in '58, it broke the heart of you know out of everybody. And so when the Mets came along in '62, a lot of the Brooklyn Dodgers fans adopted the Mets and became Met fans <laughs> and stuff. And I, and so there were a lot of Met fans in my neighborhood. And, and then yeah. my sister was a Met fan, and 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 that's why you know I'm a there you go. Die hard, die hard, and I'll never, I'll never. Knicks, Knicks too. The New York, even though I'm from Brooklyn, the Brooklyn Nets. No, 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 no. They started in New Jersey, and <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't jump ship. I am yep. not a fair weather fan to the end. You know, I, my teams are my teams. I don't care how much they lose. They're my teams. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I wonder how much of it is like, at least for me, like thinking about you know the Asian American experience. It's like maybe I, I, I do feel like the underdog of. Of America, and and you know, I want to root for, root for the under. I love rooting for the underdogs. You know. <laughs> yeah. No. It's absolutely. True. Absolutely. Um. Just before we go, I want to say another yes. thing that I think is uh is important. You know, because you know, you never get a chance. Sometimes, like you know, if you get a chance to speak to a lot of people, you know. Uh, Please do. You know, I. Uh, You've got over a hundred activists. One of one of the one of the things. Um, and I'm, I'm probably preaching in a choir here, um, but you know, a lot of times, you know, and and I get it, especially when we just relate it as to uh, um, acting and 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 Asian American actors. And though the landscape is changing, and it is a better time to be an Asian actor today than it was 15 years ago, 20 years ago, no question. Um, so much of the conversation, though, still is about the opportunities and and all that stuff and now but now you know there's more conversation not just about opportunities but what are those opportunities right what kinds of roles are they um, do they do they forward things or do they kind of still um, maintain status quo type things and stuff mm -hmm. and that's important but the other thing that that I really want to say is and I think you know the nation as a whole hopefully is is getting to a place of conversation about this is is that remember Guys, you know this is the world that we live in, so it's important to us, and and it's and it's and it is a big deal. But we are just another part of uh, uh, the larger uh, societal thing as a whole. I, I used to say this a long time ago, and and it was more strange back then, but I still say it today, and that is when we talk about roles for Asian Americans and um, diversity or representation and stuff like that. It's all very, very valid. But if that's the only thing that you ever say, then it's a, it's a small fight. It's a, it's a, it's a small argument. Um, the things that are ha happening in our business is just symptomatic of what's been going on in society for literally since its inception, right? Mm -hmm. So when there is equal opportunity in education, when there's equal access to health care, literally, when uh, there's a literally equal access uh, to uh, to uh, um, our voices being heard uh, by elected officials when there is mm -hmm. uh, equal justice under the law, right? Um, these things will, will inevitably take care of themselves as well. So don't ever divorce, you know, I sound like I'm preaching right now, but, but I, I oh. would never, I'll keep it on me then, I would never divorce my arguments about uh, representation in media and things like that from the larger, larger things as a whole. Because I guarantee you, I believe this in my heart of hearts, when, when we all really receive and our great grandkids and whatever really receive an absolute equal access to equal education, to, to true 
uh, equality in, 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 in criminal justice, in, in, in financial justice, quite honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, we're not going to have to have so many of these arguments, man. Mm. We're not, yeah. we're not going to have to have so many, uh, yeah, uh, absolutely. of, of them at all. Um, it's what I believe. So, so really get curious and get involved, not just with the things that, you know, uh, you think affects you on a day-to-day basis, which of course, of course it's your life. Um, but, but also, you know, uh, not turning a blind eye to, to, to other, to other injustices. Cause injustice is all related. They, they, they don't live in vacuums, right? It's injustice. systemic. Yeah, yeah man. It's, it, it's interconnected is, and they, they, they will fight to keep yeah. each, you know, they will, the, they are, it is a, it is a self-enforcing web of things that we have to start dismantling oh. together and other, or and, otherwise and, it's nothing's going to happen. <laughs> and, bef- and before we go, the other thing I want to say, and I think is really, really important, again, to every a- young, um, you know, Asian American actor, sure, but everybody in general, you know, listen, um, I remember, um, you know, so a lot of times, right, the, the, the conversation about, you know, some of the roles that that, that are available out there too, right? Are still sort of kind of stereotypical. You're the butt of the joke. You're the, you know, or it's about the accent or something like that. And all of that, you know, is, is very valid to criticize and everything like that. But I tell you, in my opinion, in my experience, what I think the worst stereotype, first of all, do you know that when I got to LA, I didn't even know this, but I was told over and over and over again, as if it were a compliment, you know, they say, James, you're going to be okay because you're one of the good ones. And I didn't even understand what that meant. Cause, and flat out, I remember a white casting director telling me that most Asians can't act. Mm. Just on the face of it, just on the face of it, how ridiculously of a racist... So are you saying, are you implying that there is something genetically defunct about being of Asian descent that makes you a war? Mm-hmm. I mean, just incomprehensible your idea of a compliment is so ridiculous, right? So, so number one, there's that stereotype that we can't act that gladly, I think there's so many examples of people who are shattering that on a daily basis, you know. But I'll tell you what I believe is the absolute worst that still gets perpetrated today, all right? It ain't that, yeah, you know, we're, we're, it's it's part of the reason why we're still uh, perpetual foreigners, right? Who are the people that are relatable? The people that are really relatable, even when they're the biggest movie stars and the super gorgeous and all this stuff and everything like that, right? It's because they play characters, you know, that um, that go through everyday struggle, right? People that can be related to. Mm-hmm. The greatest stereotype that I think hinders us still is the fact that we are automatons that are uncaring uh we at 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 our sexiest we you know our our women are are sexually fetishized right at our most masculine we can kick ass in martial arts but do we ever care um do we do we ever have the monologues that show uh what our humanity is do do we ever, as a as a lawyer in in a drama series or something, fight against a societal ill? Uh, 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 do we do we ever represent working class uh, people? Sometimes, personally, for me, that's something I feel is really like. And I think, mm. you know, a lot of times Asian Americans are viewed as the uh, the monolithic, you know, person in the suburbs with a big house and two cousins. Not to say that those people. Uh, don't exist and that their their lives aren't completely valid. But you know, I grew up poor as dirt, man. Um, in a in a very 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 highly you know uh, racially dangerous kind of a way and um, violence and um, you know most people don't know this, but more than a quarter more than a quarter of the the Chinese population, almost thirty percent of the Chinese population in New York City, below live below the poverty level of any ethnic group in New York, uh, Chinese yep. Americans make up more of the w- working poor in New York than any other group. People yep. don't know that though. 
know. And that. and do we see their stories being told? Do is their face a human, or, or or we just take their accents and and, and make fun of them, right? Mm -hmm. Um, um. So the really greatest stereotype afflicting us is that is that we don't hurt and that that we don't care that you know we're just cold or we or only care about honor <laughs> right we're cold, we're mathematical we're, we're 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 right or 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 those kinds of things and and i would love to see somebody you know uh um I would like to see that's changing, right? It's changed not as it's bad changing. as it was twenty years ago. Yeah, it's definitely changing, right? But but instead of crazy, but, but I would not instead of in addition to crazy rich Asians, I would I would love to see broke crazy third Asians. Asians. Yeah, broke yeah. broke ass third. Asians. Yeah, uh, yeah broke, broke ass Asians. Like broke oh ass gosh, Asians, man. or I broke would. ass and, people. <laughs> and and tell an actual story. Uh, yeah. About about what that's like, you know, yeah. you know, uh, and because it's American as apple pie, man. It's, it's also interesting apple pie. that you bring up most, the whole thing most about, of us are living in. Yeah. The working class, working class characters not existing. Like it's, it is such a oh, dearth, man. um, really with the exception of like, and now shameless is done too, but there's like, and, and that's, that's a whole nother show, but like, really, I, 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 I had, talked about this at some point but just the percentages based around like sort of the socioeconomic stratospheres that that yeah. are talked about in in network tv shows that have existed around like in the last especially i would say in the last like 10 15 20 years like they have all like we've we've seen a, a real sort of variance away from that working class family where you had, you know, your Roseanne's, you had your married with children's, you had, you know, like things like that, at least, you know, and yes, these are all caricatures, but they exist, they at least existed to now, like they've become even sort of more niche and, and spread out where, where just those stories ha have seemed to sort of melded into or out of either niche subjects like fantasy or sci-fi, or like they've sort of been, a lot of them have, have, have managed to like, find those avenues in order to be told but at the same time like really actual sort of serious you know dr network dramas that deal with stories of people that are not fantastically wealthy are very very rare like it's it's yeah. really really interesting just to think about how how you know just thinking about it now like we're like oh where what it what is it where is it you know and it's it's such a like it's such a large percentage of the people who are in america watching tv you know like it just seems like a weird thing that we i don't know don't represent yeah yeah and and another and if i i keep saying this one one other thing i can say to uh i don't want to be like sound like i'm only talking to like asians here asian young asian actors but if you are out there i want to say this too and it's really really important guys it's very very important you know what I alluded to earlier about you know there is still this this uh, stereotype among some circles you know that we that we're not as good and that's why we don't get the roles and stuff because we're not as good and and all that stuff right so whether you like it or not whether it's right or wrong the reality is is that you'll always represent more than just yourself always mm. okay so. Don't be a hater. As hard as it is, if you don't get a job and somebody else that you know uh, uh, gets a job or something, don't be a hater. Support them. Support other Asian, uh, yeah. you know, For you sure. know, ev yeah. even if Crazy Rich Asians isn't your cup of tea or whatever, go watch the movie, right? Support it. Support it. Don't be a hater. Because yeah. I tell you what, and this is the other thing, and hope, and hope that whichever actor does get the part or whatever, does an amazing job because yep. it only helps all of us yeah. okay you don't want asian uh, uh american actors or asian actors whatever to do a quote unquote okay or a bad job you really don't because if you think that'll help you you're completely wrong because it only reinforces this this fucking goddamn uphill battle that we fight you know, and you know, to be seen, to be heard, yep. because these people go, oh, see, 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 that's why we can't do these things. You know, this is why we shouldn't cast, you know, 
uh, and everything. And and it's not fair. It ain't right. But it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. You know. And this is the difference um, between being a Caucasian actor in this business and a when a Caucasian actor walks into an audition, he is himself. He's Barry, Steve, Joe, Frank, whatever. And mm -hmm. he leaves as Barry, Joe, Steve, Frank, whatever. And there is nothing about what he does that's going to say to them, oh, because of this guy, you know, that casts a whole, you know, thing over all these other white actors of his yes. height. And his... No, no, no. But that is exactly what happens to us. So when somebody gets a role that you are up for, and let's say you wanted it really bad, and let's say you were down to the end, and let's say you, you know, you were pinned and, and you almost got it, but you didn't. Don't be resentful. Don't be bitter. Hope that that guy does an amazing job yeah. because it only helps all of us. It mm -hmm. only helps all of us because we will, we are judged not only by what we do, but by what the others who have come before us have and what people coming after us are going to be up against. The absolutely 100% yeah. truth. So... And, 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 but within that, I want to say something that, that, that motivates me every time. Look, man, you think I don't know when I'm playing something that I know I'm the fucking comic relief, that I know <laughs> that, you know, I'm the, I'm the one Asian guy and I'm going to be the comic relief and all that stuff, or I'm mm -hmm. going to do the expositional stuff. And I know that it is the stereotypical quote unquote Asian thing, uh, you know, to do and everything. But then within that though, Within that, though, I got to tell you, first of all, you know, if it's really, really offensive, right, I never even have to audition for it, right, number one, right? So that'll take care of that. But then number <laughs> two, number two, though, even if, even if I know something may not have been written with the best intentions and I think, okay, it's, it's a little offensive, but not offensive enough for me to be like, you know what, I can't do the job, all right? But so then in my own little ways, and this is just, I hope, I don't know how much this goes out to... In my own little ways, I'm going to do everything I can to work against the stereotype. I just don't say it. And then sometimes the director might go, oh, James, that's a great idea. And now he thinks it's his idea and goes along with it. But right. the moment you say, but the moment you say, so sometimes there are ways of, of working within it, you know, um, that just go out there and act your asses off, guys. Go out there, be brave, yeah. make the bravest choices, you know, um, um, don't, don't think about, uh, uh, how to placate or, or, or be something, uh, that, that, that you think that somebody else wants you to be. That's in, inorganic anyway. Right. Uh, so, so don't Absolutely. do that, man. Go for it, man. Go for it. Go for it. Don't be apologetic about Jack, man. And just maybe, just maybe you could take something that's written to be stereotypical and swing it in such a way that it isn't. And it makes all the difference. It's subtle and most people may not see it, but then some little kid looking on a TV and goes and looks up and goes, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that guy looks like me. And he's kind of cool or she's kind of cool, you know, and you never know and you never know. And it's important. So, um, you know, yeah, don't, don't be a hater guys. Don't be a hater. And, and, um, um, you know, Take pride, take pride in that, whether it's forced or not, whether it's fair or not, that you do represent more than just yourself. So that even if you're not in the, the, the greatest movie of all time or the greatest TV show, you know it's, it's fluffy and you know, it, it doesn't really have any societal uh, impact, but actually you get to. Because every time that we don't suck, Every time that we are not a stereotype, every <laughs> single time that we represent people, um, no matter how subtle, and it may be lost on tons of people, but to the handful of people that it's not lost on, it makes a difference. It, it makes it, it makes a huge difference. You know what I mean? So, yeah. uh, you know, I really, really, really uh, encourage that strongly you know, um, to, to, to any, to any actor out there, but, you know, um, you know, since we're Asian and it's, uh, to Asian American actors, you know, take pride in the fact that you rep represent more than yourself, That's you beautiful. know, That's you really know, beautiful. and, 
and and um, and uh, you know, and so and and support support each other and support each other. You know, we only got us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah th thank you so much. Um, this was much more deeper than oh, this is so great james thank you so much for <laughs> hanging I out with us man expected. like this is so great to have you <laughs> the chat is loving it um should we still should we do a giveaway earl you want to do it or do we feel it right now I'm i mean yeah i don't yeah i don't know do you do we want to give away we can let's give some i feel like if, if we're giving something. away it's to give a, what are we giving away i feel like it should connect to what we're talking about <laughs> yeah um anyway we were yeah we were thinking of uh giving away another um did you did you uh so, you weren't here james james or, isn't even here yeah. it doesn't have it doesn't we don't have a james on it that's yeah. the thing that's really sad about it's it really sad. <laughs> um but yeah we uh we have the the ghost of tsushima photo with the the, the title photo with um our signatures on it um but maybe, it, maybe, maybe that's we should send them to james <laughs> we could i mean he's, he's you're here right or, or you can, yeah don't tell us where but don't tell us where you are you're in the <laughs> don't, don't tell us where you are you're, you're around yeah um but, <laughs> but it's okay you don't need to worry about it um but chat right now um but i think uh yeah to end the the thing of like we have to support each other both the past you know uh the present and the future um uh of asian americans i think is very powerful so um uh give it should i give it one one Mi more minute? minute yes i'll give yeah. it one more minute just to, so we're doing a little giveaway in the chat yes if you haven't already gotten the our autograph uh are they chat photo. is there a specific word or are no, no just keyword chat. we're just no just keyword. chat just chat to it. um everyone tell uh name Name your favorite Kenji quality <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> yeah. um, and I'll probably, uh, oh, just as a reminder, I, we have to say this every time for legal reasons. We just use the your address for... Uh, we don't want to send you giveaways. things other than the thing that you won. Yes. All, we're, all we're using your information for is for the thing that you won. And then we get <laughs> rid of it. We I have a ceremony. I burn it. Um, we We send it. Uh, in I, in a small wooden boat. I have terrible down. memory, <laughs> and we have a Discord. So, I you burn to, your information, and you have to go to Discord to uh, give us your address. So timer is done. So we're gonna roll it. Yay! Oh, roll it! Who won? Who won? Who won? Ever Zephyr. I don't think they've Ever won. Zephyr. I don't think they've won. Uh... Yes, Ever Zephyr. You won an autograph sheet. Ghost. 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 Ever, ghost, won. ever. So let us know. Zephyr in discord Zephyr, uh, please write to us yes. in the discord in the mod mail yes congratulations and i don't know why but Re Re rebellion's finest wants to slap um maybe that's i mean it's kind of rude to do this while the guests are here but whatever okay oh, oh, sorry this is see this is what happens in twitch james <laughs> this is why you're not on social media <laughs> we, debase our, we, debase our, we debase ourselves for imaginary currency that exists in this online universe not that for I'm the entertainment of the viewers not that i'm ashamed of any of this <laughs> i'm very uh, yes i'm very Lapstick proud debasement of ourselves <laughs> we are very proud of who we are asian americans um thank you so much uh james um that was amazing <laughs> yeah this is really lovely it was just really thanks, great to get guys. to talk thanks, to you thanks yeah man thanks thanks for i was telling you. everyone like one of the first times i actually saw you was like one of the last days we were working like i think it was like um like the last day one of right. the last days that we, I was like hey what's up man? Yeah. Like, how are you like yeah. we've been doing this thing like kind of five together years. but like not together at all for like the last five years what's up like, <laughs> but yeah. this has been great to have a chat man thank yeah. you so much for coming yeah, on this is awesome thanks yeah. so much guys thank you thank so you. so much for everybody and uh <laughs> Yeah. And Monelli for that letter too. It's like yeah. uh, I'll never forget. Yay. And congrats, Thank Josephine, you, for our mom. Oh yeah, congratulations. Our congratulations. A jurist. She's now a jurist doc. She has a jurist doctorate. <laughs> That's fancy She's words for law today. school. Yeah. 
Um, thank you, James. Uh, well, yeah. I'm, I'm going to end the stream, but we can say goodbye afterwards. But say goodbye to the chat. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye guys. Bye.